Hey guys, it's Justin here with TechBusters IT Solutions. So today's video is going to review how to um, remove certificates or dangerous certificates that you might suspect are causing, um, you know, some some vulnerability on your system, um, whether that's adware or something of that nature. Um, so, th so the tool that we're actually going to be using to verify our certificates is called SigCheck. This tool is actually a part of the Sys Internal Suite. And be sure to check out our Sys Internal videos on our channel here before. Uh, before going on, they just show you how to download it and where to download it at and all that good stuff. Um, like I said, the tool is called SigCheck. First thing you need to do after you download Sys Internal Suite and get it get it uh, installed on your uh, on your system somewhere is you need to open Command Prompt from um, the uh, the directory that you have Sys Internal Suite um, installed in. And once you do that, uh, it's a very simple process. You'll run a command called SigCheck. Dash TV. So uh, what this is doing here is uh, it is checking your root certificates, um, and as you see, I got a couple here um, that are valid. If there was a certificate that was not valid, it would say the certificate status is not valid, and that's something you may want to take a look at. In order to do so, uh, to take a better investigation of it, you need to run a simple thing. Uh, it's in command prompt. It's a, uh, it's basically a little uh, tool that manages all your certificates, and uh, this is how you get to it. It's a, uh, just typed in certificate right here, and here is a list of all of our certificates, and you kind of want to really look at the root certificates here. Do note that uh, it, you know, if you do have some. Uh, you know, a bad certificate that's not trusted or something like that. Um, removing them manually is not the best idea. Um, if a certificate was installed by a program running on the computer, um, removing the certificate may cause issues with that program running or may actually delete the entire program itself. So in order to really fix those, once you have identified what certificate's not valid, you may it may be the best idea to uninstall that program and reinstall it possibly to get a new certificate um, but let's say that doesn't that doesn't work uh, then the best idea is to remove it manually and all you got to do is uh, right click on the the uh, certificate that you're looking at and delete it and that will remove it from your PC do note that um, be very careful when you look at this stuff and and, uh, and make sure you don't remove any legitimate certificates. The vast majority of all the certificates here that you see are legitimate, legitimate and are actually a part of Windows. Um, so just be very careful when you're removing certificates and make sure you're removing the correct one. Because if you don't, you could uh, definitely experience some issues uh, worse than what you had prior. So guys, uh, like, like I said before, um, Removing them manually isn't the best idea, but sometimes you may need to do so, and that's how you kind of do it. Definitely run the program called SigCheck to check and validate your certificates, and then uh, you know if you find one that uh, isn't valid, definitely go and, uh, and and take a look at it and possibly uninstall some software. So if you guys like what we're doing here, please like, subscribe, and uh, even comment below if you got questions on certain things or even if you want to see a certain thing. We're definitely uh, looking at our channel and making sure uh, we, we get some good content out there for you guys. Um, Till next time, thanks.